for about three years now. And in this past three years, we have been one of the female black leaders in our profession who's challenging the status quo, breaking boundaries, saying that, you know what, I'm not going to do basic optometry. Business. Why did you end up being this optometrist who's busy with contact lenses, therapeutics, and just going out of the comfort zone in making sure that you're providing value-added solutions to patients? How did that all come about? I don't know. I guess it came from, you know, when you're in optometry, you've got your ups and downs, and I'm that person who's, when I'm on my down, that's where my brain starts working more ah. and looking for opportunities. So I, I, I keep finding solutions when I get into my, uh, a, a hump. Mm -hmm. I want to get back down there and then start something else. So every time I go through a down in autonomous, I always try and get myself up and find another way of making my work more interesting. And then that's when we realized that our school was so wide. And then we want to try and get as much out of optimism as possible. Wow, wow, wow. And how has that benefited your patients? Having now been doing the speciality contact lenses, getting involved with the therapeutics, how has that grown your business? You know what, one thing that we don't realize that we do is that we change personalities. We make people mm -hmm. realize themselves that, especially immediately after a fit of contact lens, you change the person. Wow. They, they personality, they, they glow. just completely changes, wow. They glow. Because you put on a spectacles on a child, immediately they start smiling. They're realizing how beautiful the world is. So for me, when I change somebody like that, it's just that one that's so for me it's passion behind everything and then I know that when they feel it and sense it then they're the happiest. Don't be I I don't want to talk about this but I feel like you're the best person for me to talk about it. We don't have enough young black optometrists who are taking advantage of the opportunities that contact lenses provide of speciality lenses in general or pediatrics or, or low vision why is it that you find that in our country we've got so many young black optometry students and young optometrists but they're not taking advantage of what's out there in terms of management options why is that the case i think it comes from us I'm showing them the opportunities, I'm showing them what is out there, I'm showing them the reality of optometry, what it is about. We, go, we get educated as school days, but when we get out there, you realize that there is more in optometry. The, the university teaches you the basics, but you have to now start thinking out of the box realizing what is out there and if you're interested you will see so much more and most of the young guys depend on us so we've got a massive responsibility to uplift as we as we rise wow i mean i've i've seen you have held me accountable over the last two years to say obi i need you at this conference obi, why are you not doing this obi how how can we make sure that that environment uh, changes uh, thank you so much for for seeing the value that in us working together as an industry, black and white, we can actually take this industry to a whole other level. And you work with a lot of young people in your practice. Uh, and, and actually, interesting enough, last week, Friday, of Friday, I was at home and I was asked to do anything related to skills development. Sure. What, what would you what, do? What, what, uh, would you do? And it made me think, I started thinking, and I'm still thinking, and I'm talking to people who have been there. And I know I'm going to talk to you now about it. <laughs> to say, where do you think you can develop? How do you can develop this skill going forward? Wow, you're such an inspiration. Uh, please know that there are people waiting on the other side of your sacrifices. So don't stop. You know, I know sometimes it's very difficult thinking that you're all alone yourself, a woman, a lady. Uh, you guys are doing incredible things and you are you are leading the forefront in terms of the type of change that's required in our country. So we are available to support you ladies in whichever capacity that you feel it's important. And uh, let's do this and make the next generation of optometrists that are going to come be even better than you ladies because you're an incredible leader. I think we have to do that. We have to have exceptional optometrists. Wow. They must love what they do. Like they do. Yeah. 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 Yeah.